So here's our high tunnel and we'll take a walk in and I can show you uh, this is um, about mid-September so you get an idea of the productivity of the greenhouse after six years uh, figs in the ground all that time roots right in the ground uh, we're in zone 5b in the upstate New York um, and from some other videos you'll recognize um, our system here where we put a, uh, a wall of one layer of hay bales all the way around the outside of the fig area and then we cover in the winter we fold the trees down in there and weigh them down with some weights and they're pretty bendable they don't break I have to have to do some pruning usually and then we take these um, one inch foam boards and we lay them across like a blanket and that, that turns into what we call the fig glue. Um, and you can see here, mid-September, every other day we get about this many figs off these uh, eight trees, uh, eight different varieties. Um, you can see here along the edge I've trained some hardy seedless Concord type grapes over here. This is a champagne type uh, white grape. And then over on the other side, which you can't see very well because of the weeds, but there's a really delicious uh, other seedless uh, pink variety. See this grape on that side. Um, so I'll just come down here and you can kind of see some of my varieties. The uh, Right now my favorite in terms of uh, early ripeness, hardiness, flavor, um, short season, is this one right here. This is a, uh, a Floria fig. This has been in the ground five years. You can see there's a fig ripening there. I picked probably 10 figs off this tree today and it's been over 100 figs since they started ripening this fall. Well, I should say late summer. Um, one of my next favorites is this one here. This is um, called St. Rita. Uh, just also ripening figs now. About a week ago. You can see that there's one ripening. I've, I've taken all the figs off today. but um, And then this monster fig behind there. That is um, J.H. Adriatic. Or Adriatic J.H. Which is a green type fig. You can see how big it is. This is a branch one branch and then it curls around comes up it's probably seven feet tall now um and here are the figs ripening on this this one they're green figs whereas the other all my other, uh, other ones except for white trana are um kind of purple black figs looking amazing we had a, a pretty bad drought up here this year uh, and it hardly watered in the greenhouse, uh, amazingly. We have clay soil, so any any moisture a couple feet down and stays pretty moist, even with a drought. There's my perennial kale. Here's the uh, other grape over here, you can see it. Um, Reliance is the variety. So the Re Reliance has also been in here for about four years. There's the, the uh, stem. And I kind of trained it up into a Y right there. And then it kind of splits and goes across this side of the greenhouse and this side of the greenhouse. You can just see how many figs are on these trees. They're just really popping. All over the place. This is um, Ronde Bardot, which is another early ripening fig, which I've already picked all the figs off for today. And as we come down, another fairly early, which is ripening right now, is um, it's a uh, probably related to Hardy Chicago. You can see the ripening on there. I've picked all the figs off this one too. There's a little update on our figury 
Mediterranean greenhouse after five or six seasons of production. I'd say the, the this fifth season is really uh, where everything's popping pretty good. The, tr the, tr the trunks of the trees are probably, you know, a good six inches in diameter. Um, which just tells you how just a little bit of protection with no supplemental heat other than the insulation. Um, how well they're doing here in a, in a, it's, um, let's see, it's a 45 by 25 high tunnel. All right. Catch you later.